so then uh, like there can be a sub question for this one like which i have also faced that if you are uh, like implementing the cloneable interface interviewer interviewer can ask like then uh, like uh, then what is the need if if it contain if if it doesn't contain any method so why we are implementing this cloneable or serializable for example suppose if you are implementing uh, the cloneable interface for cloning the objects but it will override the clone method of the object class as cloneable doesn't contain any methods and class a is implementing the cloneable so then why it is required so it is required from the point of the jvm perspective that jvm checks whether you are class is implementing the cloneable or not and then after that it, it checks for the clone method and then the clone or the clone method will be called there but if you remove with the cloneable interface of uh, like uh, by implementation and you're directly cloning the object or trying to clone so it will throw the clone not supported exception something like that so that's why it is very important from the point of uh, jvm that you need your class should implement the cloning